Hello everyone. What we see on screen now is a scan of a patient's teeth overlaid with a digital model from the original plan of the liner tooth setup at the relevant corresponding stage. This is a great way to analyze if the teeth are moving as planned and to visualize any difference between the patient's actual anatomy and their original digital model from the relevant stage. In this tutorial video, I will show you a step-by-step -step process of doing this quickly and easily directly in your software at no cost. Of course, to order the actual aligners, including the digital tooth setup, visit prontoaligners.com. Complete aligner packages start at $4.99 for up to 24 total aligners, and larger cases are $7.99 for up to 40 total aligners, and $9.99 for unlimited aligners. This process can be done in the current live version of Blue Sky Plan. I'm currently demonstrating it in a better release of our upcoming release as well, of our upcoming release, where we've renamed the model editing module to the model master module. So I'm going to go ahead and start the process by clicking on model master, choosing import models. I'm going to navigate to the location on my computer where I have the relevant model corresponding to the relevant stage that the patient is at and a current up-to-date scan of the patient's teeth. I'm going to start by importing the current scan of the patient's teeth by clicking on OK. At this point, we're going to align the model to the relevant space. Do that by selecting the draw type and type of model and clicking continue to align it. I'm rotating the model using the left mouse button by holding down the left mouse button and moving around. And to mark, I hold down the shift key and left click. And I place three dots on a horizontal plane. And the model is aligned accordingly. We could click continue, and here if we want to fine tune any of the alignment or move them all around, we're able to do so, and then click finish. We've now imported a model corresponding to the patient's actual anatomy. We're going to proceed by importing the digital model from the plan of the corresponding stage by clicking file, import STL model, selecting the relevant model, and clicking OK. We are going to actually skip this alignment stage because we want to align this model to the originally imported model. And once we've skipped the alignment stage, we're going to make sure that the relevant model is selected from the drop-down list and click Alignment to Model. Confirm that the original model is selected from the drop-down list. Make sure Align Using Points is activated and go ahead and click on OK. What we're going to be doing at this point is placing a series of points on the corresponding anatomy of each scan. We want to select the points precisely and it is a good idea to place on the gingival level so that if there is any deviation between the models we're selecting points with little or no deviation. Okay we could place all the points on one model and then the other model or we could place one point on one model and then one point on the other model as I'm doing now. Either way is completely fine. What is important is that we want to disperse the points throughout the models, and we want to go ahead and place at least four or five different points. Once we've done that, go ahead and click OK. And here we have the corresponding alignments between the two models. We can visualize any deviation between the digital model from the plan and the model of the actual patient teeth. We can improve the visualization of any deviation by going to the surfaces panel, selecting a relevant model, and using the slider to increase or decrease transparency. Another relevant and useful tool is this screenshot tool. We could go ahead and take a screenshot of what we see on screen by simply clicking the camera that we see right here. And this camera exists next to all of our views. So the software functionality is the same throughout the different views in the software and click save screenshot. We can now take screenshots at different positions and we're able to save and export these screenshots either as screenshots or as a video from the software at no cost. Once we've finished taking our screenshots we could click the save button and simply save the screenshots as PDFs or we could go ahead and generate a video simply by clicking on video, entering any custom text whether it's a unique identifier for the patient, whether it's the clinician's name, the lab name, or anything relevant make any modifications to the text itself via the font size and checkboxes and click on OK.